Welcome to Faith and Freedom. For the next few minutes, we hope to inform, inspire, and encourage you as we discuss the legal victories and challenges to your fundamental freedoms and religious liberties. Faith and Freedom comes to you from Liberty Council, a civil liberties education and legal defense organization. Join us now as Matt Staver, the President and General Counsel of Liberty Council, explains the latest legal issues all across this country in the courtrooms of America. Liberty Council is winning the battle for your constitutional freedoms. The United States Supreme Court allows an important natural marriage and family case to stand. I'm Matt Barber, Vice President of Liberty Council Action, in today for Matt Staver. And joining me on the line is Steve Crampton, General Counsel with Liberty Council and Vice President. And uh, Steve, thanks for coming on today. Hey, great to be with you, Matt. Thanks for having me. Well, uh, folks, the U.S. Supreme Court refused to review an important case involving natural marriage and family, thus allowing the Federal Court of Appeals decision to stand. The case involved unmarried same-sex partners who unsuccessfully sued to change an adopted boy's birth certificate to state that the child had two fathers, which, of course, is impossible. Uh, The ruling uh, by the en banc 16 judges Fifth Circuit Court of Appeal uh, Appeal stated that two same-sex partners from New York who adopted a Louisiana-born infant could not uh, force Louisiana to change the birth certificate to state that the child had two, quote, dads. Uh, this decision is a big victory for natural family and for states to protect marriage and family. And Liberty Council was involved in this case, as you know, Steve, uh, in filing an, an amicus brief uh, in the case. Do you want to give us a little more, if you could, a little more background on the case and, and then uh, let me know, where, let us know, where does this uh, case go from here and what does this mean in terms of uh, protecting natural marriage and family? Sure. Uh, Matt, one piece of uh, background is Liberty Council has been heavily involved, and uh, other firms as well, in combating this kind of onslaught from the homosexual activists in their incessant efforts to spread the uh, notion of same-sex marriage and redefining the family sort of in a backdoor fashion. And that's what, uh, what this case represented, too. As you said, the... A couple had adopted in New York, where they will recognize these kinds of adoptions. Louisiana, like many of the southern states, in fact, even the northern states that have said this far and no further, we don't recognize same-sex marriage. We don't recognize that as a family. So instead of coming with a direct frontal assault on the Louisiana law, what they did is they they came in with this uh, attempt to have the birth certificate rewritten to recognize, as you said, that they're both dads of this child. Louisiana law says you don't do that here. So the registrar in Louisiana, who just, you know, normally handles, it's a paperwork kind of issue. You reissue a birth certificate. No problem. What she said is, I can't put both of your names on there. Our state law doesn't allow it. Instead, what I can do is you all choose which one of you uh, wants to be on, I can let one of you be the dad and, and reissue a birth certificate that way. But these guys, because they had an agenda, said, no, no, no. And instead, they go and file in federal court a lawsuit against this official saying, you've denied us our rights under the full faith and credit clause because mm-hmm. you won't recognize what New York has done. <laughs> Thankfully, the Fifth Circuit in the en banc ca- uh, court said, no, you can't go that far, even under the full faith and credit clause. You, you can't force the state of Louisiana to recognize what the state law in Louisiana says is abhorrent in, in their state. We don't recognize same-sex marriage. So it's a tremendous ruling. And as you know, Matt, but many of our listeners may not know, there are lots of uh, federal courts of appeal, and mostly what they do is they sit in panels of three judges each. In very unusual cases, like this one, Mm -hmm. they convene the entire panel uh, uh, or court, which is en banc, in this case, 16 different judges. And so their opinion here by the en banc Fifth Circuit carries additional weight over just a regular panel of three judges. Sure. And since the U.S. Supreme Court denied review 
this is the end of the line in this case. Right. And so the opinion of the en banc court carries enormous weight. In fact, I would call it the most persuasive authority in the land Mm -hmm. right now on the question whether homosexuals can force states that are otherwise against same-sex marriage to recognize same-sex marriage by means of, of this kind of rewriting and adoption certificate, a birth certificate or something here. So it's a tremendous win for the natural family and for those of us that believe in what the Bible says about marriage and about family. Well, so this puts a tremendous roadblock in front of the radical sexual anarchist movement's attempts to compel uh, states like Louisiana to adopt the radical redefinition of marriage and family, uh, which flies in the face of of what uh, history has held and certainly what biology holds and and what every major world religion holds to, to be, you know, marriage, family, this notion that, you know, and you know, you're talking about the birth certificate here. That screams out, you know, conspicu- conspicuously absent from the, the discussion about this birth certificate is is the obvious uh, question of, okay, where's the mother? <laughs> you know, the, there was a mother in the mix, despite the fact that, uh, you know, homosexual activists want to pretend that there is no mother here. Uh, my, my last check in, you know, biology, my biology 101 book from college you know, indicates that, no, nah, you kind of got to have a male and female uh, still, even yeah. even. Even today, political correctness has not been managed yet to to make it uh, possible for two dads to so called to procreate or two moms to procreate. Right. You need the male female binary relationship absent from that birth certificate is the mom, and it's tragic, frankly, yes. that that yes. we are now intentionally courts in New York and elsewhere and, and states. Some states are it's creating a situation where kids are intentionally denied a mother or a father. It's unconscionable. It's reprehensible. The state of Louisiana uh, Louisiana recognizes that it's reprehensible. And the Fifth Circuit has said, New York, keep your reprehensible laws to yourself. Am I right? That's exactly right. You know, it's we laugh about it in a way that that everybody knows you need a mother. And those pesky facts, as one court has observed, (laughs) sort of get in the way of your political agenda. And yet, on the other hand, as you are well aware, there are states like California and and elsewhere that are flirting with the idea of uh, even children being allowed to kind of choose whatever gender they think they want to be, you know, even in our public schools. Thankfully, states like Louisiana return to a common sense kind of view that you really can't deny, as you say. You got to have a mom. And Thankfully, many, many states say just because you feel like it, you can't, you know, pretend to be a mom when, in fact, biologically, you are a, a male. Uh, but, you know, we're, we're playing with brave new world sort of uh, ideas here, and here is a great ruling that sort of returns us to sanity. Well, to say that, you know, there are two mommies or two daddies on the birth certificate is a fiction in every sense of the word. It's a legal f- it's a legal fiction certainly. That's an, and that means that the, the the courts or the law has to pretend that reality is not reality in order to to uh, affect this radical political agenda. It's also a a, a literal fiction. I mean, <laughs> you can't have two mommies yeah. or two daddies and so, you know, and, and I, a recent case, I think, uh, represents a microcosm of what we can come to expect. And we're running real short on time here. But a, a lesbian uh, couple uh, here had, had adopted a two year old boy. That boy now uh, 11. They have been transitioning him into a girl by stunting his growth intentionally through hormone abuse. And yeah. uh, and that to me, he is the poster child against this notion of 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 you know uh, so called gay adoption. They are abusing this child, uh, and and now are trying to prepare him for a sex change operation. They want to get it mm-hmm. done before he hits puberty. That is nothing short of of abuse, and that's why when we deviate from the natural family and natural marriage, children that's ultimately right. are caught in the crosshairs. We only have about thirty seconds left. Your thoughts? Matt, that's exactly right. You know, there's another fiction out there that what these people choose to do, uh, you know, and it's all a consenting adult kind of thing, it doesn't harm anyone, that's hooey. It harms those children, and it harms all of us in society. We need to get back to basics here, and this case is a great first start.
Well, thanks for being on today, Steve. And folks, uh, we encourage you to go to Liberty Council's website, lc.org. Find out how you can become part of Liberty Council's ministry or give us a call, 1-800-671-1776. We're standing in the gap to protect these children from this radical agenda, this selfish adult political agenda that harms children. Go to lc.org or give us a call at 1-800-671-1776. Stand with us as we stand in the gap to protect children. You have been listening to Matt Staver of Liberty Council. Our hope is to encourage and inspire you to stand up for your faith, family, and freedoms. We can accomplish a lot when we work together. Get informed and get involved today. Sign up for our free monthly newsletter, The Liberator. We will send it out to you free of charge. Stay informed with our Liberty Alert email update. Just click on the website at www.lc.org or call us at 1-800-671-1776. Tune in next time to learn more about your rights right here on Faith and Freedom. 